Welcome to the Explore Composites Materials Library. This is laminate sample number six. It's finally time for some open molding. Here we're going to have simple laminate with core mat surrounded on each side by a balanced 1708 biax and a layer of one ounce mat on the face. I'm laying this up on a piece of G10 that I had around. It's shiny but it's not perfect and I'm using this Rexco high temp wax as a release. So I'm rubbing it on in sections. I started with the middle and I'm not sure why. I'm putting it, the wax on and then wiping it off with the rag until there's a nice shiny surface and there's not a lot of wax smears left. I'll do this three times. I'm just showing one coat here before I lay up. And here's the material. It's general purpose polyester laminating resin with no wax. And this is the core mat. It's a two millimeter core mat. And I'm going to mix up the resin. I've estimated I'll need about a quart of resin. It feels like an awful lot. We'll see how far it goes. It's just a little over 60 degrees Fahrenheit where I'm working. I'm going to catalyze this at 2% with MEKP 925 using that which I'm helpfully holding out of the frame and pour that in so for one quart got 20 milliliters roughly of MEKP mixing it up nicely and I'm going to put the mat on the surface first putting a little dollop of that resin down there that'll help me wet through. Now I'm going directly to using a wet out roller here. If you're doing this on a larger part, wetting out more material, you'd want to use a paint roller and a roller tray to apply your resin. A nice thick nap roller uh, will work really well for this. But I didn't want to waste one for something so small, so I'm using a brush and just pushing the resin around with the wet out roller. This first layer I'm putting down is one ounce mat. I'm putting it against the surface. You pretty much always want to have mat against the surface to get a nice finish. And the second layer I just put down is 1708 biaxial glass, which is 17 ounce biaxial glass with a layer of three quarter ounce mat stitched to it. When I put down the 1708, I put it so that it stitched side faces the mat leaving mat up. The mat that's stitched to the 1708 is facing that layer of core mat. And to wet this core mat out I did one side and then flipped it over. Um, you'd want to do differently on a larger piece. I don't want to have enough resin in the bottom skin to really wet out the core mat. And got the top 1708. It's exactly mirrored from the bottom. So I put the the three quarter ounce mat stitched to it facing the core mat and then put this one ounce mat on top. And I'm going back over it all rolling really nicely. Rolling is key here. This is the, the method of laminate consolidation and getting the air out. So I'm being pretty fussy about that. And here because this is laminating resin which has uh, an air inhibited cure, I will put a layer of peel ply on uh, so that I'll be able to pull it off the resin on the peel ply will not cure. Laminating resin leaves a, uh, an open bonding surface for additional laminating. So here the peel ply will allow me to pull that surface off and not have a sticky top layer. I could alternately use gel coat or switch to a waxed finishing resin here for the last layer. So I'm rolling it all out and I'll leave it be, let it cure come back and have a look. I'm going to put that wet out roller in uh, some acetone to clean it off. Once they get gummed up, they're useless. So now I've come back, I'm going to demold it. I've got a long skinny wedge. It's easy to peel up and it comes off that G10 panel perfectly. and 
flip it over and look and see what I've got. Looks like it came out pretty good. Nice and resiny. No air on the surface. You can see through into the core mat. It's all very clear. The surface, I don't know. I haven't pulled the peel ply off yet. So there it is. You can see not much air, hardly any, and nice clear laminate. On the top side, a little more uneven resin. I weighed a one square foot section, one pound three and three, five eighths ounces, super heavy, 558 grams. And you can see the core mat inside and the rest of the laminate. It's thick, it's heavy, an awful lot of resin in there. But it's a quick, nice way to make a panel where weight's not a huge concern. Thanks for checking out the Explore Composites Materials Library. See you next time.